Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, adding key in AES. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the previous three stages in each round. So please watch those classes and come back here. This is very, very simple class to understand. Just easy, just adding the key. So this is the state which we are going to obtain from the third stage. The output which we got from third stage, we take it as a state. Hoping that you already know the basics from our previous classes. State means 128 bit, it's mentioned in a matrix form. So taking the state and you take 128 bit key, that key is taken in the matrix form. First bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit, so on. And these two matrices are to be added. That is what happens in adding a key. This is just simple as adding key means matrix addition. So in other way, they will say that take the first column. This is first column and add it to the first column in the key. Means the first bit is added to the first bit. Second bit is added to the second bit. Third bit is third byte is added to the third byte. Fourth byte is added to the fourth byte because here we are having bytes as input. This is what happened here in adding the key. And the point you need to understand here, adding means XOR operation because we follow GF of two operations. Here adding key is an, here adding means XOR operation. And the next point you need to understand, adding key is an invertible component. Because here adding means we are doing XOR operation. XOR operation is an invertible component. See, this is what we do in the fourth stage. X, XOR, K. X means input. XOR with K. This is sent as input to the decryption. Again, there in the decryption, this X, XOR, K is XOR with K. K, K get cancelled and remind with X. This is the property of XOR operation, which we already discussed in the beginning of the classes. So that's why adding key is an invertible component and you need to understand few more concepts here. Suppose if you are taking a 128 bit key, how many rounds we are having? 10 rounds we are having. But here we are having 11 rounds plus 1. It starts from N0, N1, N2 so on and the last round is N10. If you take 196 bit key, 192 bit key, then you are having 12 rounds. If you take 256 bit key, you are having 14 rounds. Like that it changes. 14 means plus 1. 12 means plus 1. So what happens in the first round? Let's try to understand. And we need to understand one more concept here. What happens in the last round also? So N0, N0 means in the first round, in our, in our previous classes, we discussed that in each round, we are having four stages. What are, what are those four stages? Substitution byte. May, and next one is, uh, we are going to do shifting the rows. And the third one is uh, mixing columns, then adding key. But in the first round, N0, N0 round, we don't have all those stages. We are having only one stage, that is adding a key means our plain text first go into the N, N0 round, their key is added. The first key is added. It comes out of it. Then in N1, it goes to four stages. In N2, it will go into four stages. By adding the first, by adding key in the first round, means key is also getting affected because in the next round, it is moving in it is taking care of mixing columns, mixing bits and all those things. So key is also getting affected. That's why in the beginning it is going to add key in the beginning. Then it will go to the next round. So N1, N2, so on up to. If it is 128 bit key, it will go to the last round that is N10. But one thing you need to understand here, N10 in the last round, the third stage is removed. Mixing bits is removed, mixing columns is removed. So, so similarly, when it moves to the decryption side, in the first round, mixing columns will be will not be there because uh, all the components which we discussed in AES are invertible components. If mixing columns is removed here, the same thing happens in the 
decryption first round also. So the next point you need to understand here, if, if you go with 128 bit key, how many keys are generated? 11 keys are generated. Similarly, 192, 192 bit key, 12 rounds means 13 keys are generated. How these keys are generated will be discussed in our next class. Hope you understand how addition of keys are done in AES and in our next class we are going to discuss how these 11 keys are generated which we are going to discuss in our next class. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.